Hey guys, Erok here, hope you're well. No intro this time, I'm not going to bore you. The extra stuff will be at the end if you want to listen to that. Today we're going to dive a little deeper into the tests from the first video, and we're also going to test all the stance positions that is mounted, standing, crouched, and prone. And I think we get some interesting results, so let's begin. I must warn you before we get into it that I do go through all the SMG weapons, so some of you might find the next part a bit boring, but in the interest of transparency, I include it in the video. You're of course more than welcome to skip around the video as you please. So we start with the org, with the mounted position. This was the, by the way, this was the, the, the best sort of testing area that I could find where you had all four stances where you could properly utilize them. I realize it's slightly at an angle, but uh, broadly that shouldn't, I did a test straight on, that shouldn't impact the results. So it should be fine. Um, so you've got your three positions, you've got your first one is mounted, then you've got standing, and then crouched, and then finally prone. And if you can see prone on this gun, it's just, it's a laser, it's just not going anywhere. Next up you've got the P90, and don't worry if you miss any of these, I'm going to have a picture at the end and it's going to show everything nicely labelled and everything, so... Yeah, we're going to have, we're going to discuss all that. So, quite bad recoil, obviously you're getting 50 bullets in the gun, 50 round mag. Then your standing is also quite bad. Kind of does a little hitch there as well, and then now we're crouching. Slightly better than either of those. Then you finally have your crouched, which should be again, yeah, pretty much the same. Pretty much really, really good. The, the best out of all. So for those two, prone is the winner. Next up we have the MP5. So we've got first mounted. A lot of horizontal recoil. If you can see the gun is just moving, moving horizontally a lot. So you're getting a lot of that instability on it. And then you have standing. You should hopefully see the bullets quite clearly on this material, much clearer than my first video. Then you've got crouched. I don't know what happened there. It skipped, skipped like two bullets or something. I don't know what happened there. But the worst so far is crouched and prone is pretty much the same. So those two are the worst prone and whereas prone was the best for the first two and now prone was one of the two worst for the MP5. All right, this is uh, the Uzi. Remarkable stability, as we found out in the last video. Not a lot of recoil at all. It's just not going, it's not moving anywhere. It's kind of lasered in and it's not going, which is kind of weird because Uzi is, you know, kind of the traditional gun, which has a lot of recoil and not very stable. But At least that's, that's how we think of it. But look, all those three are so tight. And then you get into the prone, and then things slightly go south. Or should I say north? <laughs> oh gosh, lame joke. Uh, so yeah, pretty bad in prone. Really, really bad. I don't know what happened there, but it's crazy. And then you've got the PP-19, the Bison. 64 round mag. Quite bad. And you've got your standing. Does pretty much the same thing. It's crazy. The mounted and standing is the same. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but hey, it is like that for now, so we have to take it. And I know some of you might say uh, at an angle it's it changes it. But it, by the way, I'm sorry, just interrupting it again because it's it's not going anywhere. Encrouched out of every position. It doesn't make sense, does it? To me, it doesn't. At least, I mean. Kind of, if you've got your mounted, and then finally you've got your prone. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, this just goes. This goes into the poster. It's the same as the first three. So it doesn't make sense. One of them is such a such an accurate gun, and then such an accurate stance, and then your others are just horrible, terrible. Anyway, this is the last gun, MP7. As I said, we're going to look at the picture, and we're going to just you're going to be able to see all the recoils for every for every gun. So don't worry if you missed it. So not bad, and then we get into crouch. Just notice how different they are for every gun. That's what I, that's what it kind of stands out to me. And yeah, that's pretty accurate. And then you've got your prone. I 
and goes north again pretty bad all right so next up you have your picture of all the guns and all their recoil patterns helpfully drawn out and i have to say it's, it's so professional it looks really really nice definitely not been done in paint <laughs> anyway um yeah by the way sorry there's fireworks going off in the background it's bonfire night today so i can't control that i'm sorry i've been trying to record all day pretty much and there's nothing i can do and it's starting up now i think again so apologies for that anyway we're going to get into it so we first up we've got the org which has the worst recoil pattern uh, of standing so you can see not by much to be fair but it is the worst and then your best uh, stance for recoil is your prone position uh, which is really really extremely accurate it's not moving anywhere it's kind of staying in that little circle next up is the p90 uh, same exact pattern you've got um, your standing which is the worst and then your prone being the best it's not as good as the org mind you but it is still really good I mean, it's moved up slightly but come on that's what 50 50 bullets you can't argue with that um anyway i i want you to keep these two guns in mind as well because just because i'm going to bring something up a little later that might be a little interesting Anyway, next up we have the MP5, so the two worst are, you could argue, but crouch and prone, pretty much the same to me. You could maybe argue that prone is worse on it. I wouldn't stop you, because, I mean, it does look slightly, and you've got that little, for crouch, you've got that little interruption there. As I said, I don't know, I don't know what happened. But your best for MP5, your best stance is mounted, so... Um, then you've got the PP19 Bison, so you've got your three uh, stances, which it is the worst at, and it's actually exactly the same. So you're uh, mounted, you're standing, and you're prone. It's exactly the same for all three of them, and then your crouch is extremely, extremely accurate and no recoil. And this is kind of this image I kind of used to rebuff some of the arguments that people brought forward to me in my first video, saying that, well, you know, maybe Infinity Ward and the devs are going for realism in the sense that, you know, maybe crouched is not the most accurate. You know, people are saying, if you've ever shot a gun, you would know that it's uh, crouched. I don't doubt that, but, you know, I'm kind of going by their own logic, what they said in, in their blog. And but kind of by video game logic. So, and this picture just shows you how, you know, at least you'd expect prone or mounted to be to be better. But just look at the drastic difference between mounted uh, mounted standing prone and then you have the crouch it's completely like 10 times worse i would say like really really bad extremely bad so this would be kind of my counter that it's messed up it is there is some kind of fault here there is some kind of bug here and they need to do something about it uh, again i don't shoot guns but this even to my eyes honestly i'm sure you guys can appreciate this looks bad to you as well i'm sure you can't argue with this Alright, so then you have uh, the Uzi um, with mounted, standing and crouched, pretty much the same. Um, you could say mounted and crouched are the best and then standing is slightly, slightly worse. And then your prone, just look at your prone, is completely, completely bad. Like three times worse as the other ones. And again, out of nowhere, it, it, it is by far the worst. And then your final one is the MP7, which has the worst, as its worst, the prone stance, and then clearly as its best is the crouch. So as you can see, quite a lot of different things you can see in this picture. You have the first two, you have the prone being the best on the org on p90 and then in the last two the uzi and the mp7 you have prone being by far the worst which to me i mean doesn't make sense these guns although of course they're slightly different uh, different types of gun but i don't know to me it just seems very 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 obvious that there's something wrong to the point that if you were to ask me what is the best stance or if someone a new player was to ask me what is the best overall stance that you should use well, you wouldn't really get an answer because there is none. 
and you know maybe that's fine and this is what the devs were going for you know realism or whatnot but it doesn't help with consistency uh, people just expect it to do uh, the wall test every time they f start up the game or there's a new gun in the game i don't think so are they expected to sit through boring videos mm -mm. <laughs> analyzing in detail which stunts is best for which gun i hope it's not boring by the way i don't think so but uh yeah I, I people don't have time for this we already have enough on our hands with all the attachments and tinkering with that and uh, you know there's so much to do Anyway, next up, I just want to mention two quick things that I found interesting. So if you look at this picture of the org with the P90, P90 being at the top and org being at the bottom, um, they're the same, as I mentioned before, the same drawbacks. So standing being the worst and prone being the best. And my thinking behind this, it could be the fact that they're both bullpup rifles or bullpup SMGs. Maybe that's what the, the, the devs decided to be consistent with, you know, have the same type of of uh, SMG be within its class. Maybe, I don't know. Again, I don't know. I don't shoot guns and I can't tell you if bullpup uh, would be more accurate when you're prone. I don't really see a reason why. They do have a low profile and you do have those two um, kind of how you hold them, the two, 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 two hand hand guards uh, so to speak or hand holds and but i can't tell you if they if, if this is realistic for bullpup rifles so um but then again i don't see why standing would be bad for both realistically i don't know i don't know it's really 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 hard to say maybe this is realistic so i don't know secondly um i'm going to read you this quote which comes from the activision blog i know i know again a quote i'm being a nerd but just want you to read this quote i want to read it to you which is uh, from the activision blog titled the basics of call of duty modern warfare movement so this is a direct quote so firing a weapon while prone offers the most recoil mitigation and accuracy buff out of all the movement stances this benefit may be great for picking off enemies at long distances as your operator will use the ground to offer more stability even while using the highest magnification optics. Um, yeah, this picture says otherwise. <laughs> I, I don't know. This thinking that they have in the blog, this is exactly what I thought. This is what I thought, you know. Standing gives you the less, gives you the least accuracy and the worst recoil. And then your your crouch gives you slightly better and then your prone gives you again better but this picture the uzi and mp7 you know the, the 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 prone being so bad by far it doesn't make sense to me again it could be the fact that they're both similar type of smg in the sense of their construction and and their side profile if you were to look at them and kind of remind each other but i don't know i don't know it's just it's definitely it seems to me that it's broken but yeah basically i want to conclude um conclude this video and say that there's there's no consistency here but the question is should we expect consistency this is what activision and infinity ward need to answer is recoil and accuracy meant to be so clearly different between each stance i mean there is no consistency here as you've seen each gun has its own mind its own strengths and everything but then again would it be boring if they changed it and every gun had a predictable pattern i don't know because in real life i'm sure i imagine that different guns have different you know they, they, they're built differently so you have different physical characteristics and some guns may be good at when you're lying down some might be good when you're standing up i, I don't know i don't know how it works but th these are just some of my thoughts I know that right now it is the whole recall situation is kind of pretty pretty confusing especially to new players i think they they uh, activision and infinity ward need to just state explicitly within the stats in which stance each gun has more uh, recoil or if this is a bug then they just need to fix it in which case we just need to be patient and you know i hope that they see it i hope that they see all these concerns i posted it on reddit so Hopefully they should be able to see it. Anyway, uh, that's enough of that. I hope the video was useful for you guys. I'd just say be aware of the effects of different stances on recoil patterns. 
of your favorite guns so you can always be in the best position to win gunfights and and more importantly prevent rage inducing deaths like i've had so many of those i know you guys can sympathize um so at the end i just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone like 1000 subs has been crazy it's been so 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 crazy like i i couldn't believe that i would be, I would be in this position you know i've I, I, I it's just i can't even say anything i'm just if this was to end i always say that if this was to end right now today like i wouldn't even i wouldn't even be mad so thank you so much for everything like it, it's crazy i never would have thought this would have happened i'm speechless honestly thank you so much so uh, yeah <laughs> crazy anyway thanks guys i'll see you in the next one i hope this was useful yeah i'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye